Hi everyone, so I'm not quite sure what number book this is, I'm going to guess 49, 40, 48 or 49. Um, this is kind of the last month that I'll be doing these book reviews and the book I want to talk about today is Eliminate Negative Thinking by Derek Howell. So the book, as you can see, is really, really thin. So I only bought, got it delivered on, I think, Thursday or Friday. I've been reading the chapters. They're quite short chapters and easy to read. I've not got to the actual end of the book. I'm probably 95% finished. But the book really, this is one of the best books I've read, actually, that is going to be really helpful for the clients I work with because many of the clients I work with struggle with overthinking, negative thoughts, um, and it's one of probably the biggest questions I get asked as a counsellor and a coach. How can I stop the negative thoughts? How can I overcome negative thinking? So this book, as I was reading through the chapters, I was thinking this is going to be really useful, not only to recommend to the clients, but also to do some of the exercises in there. So some of the chapters include ineffective ways to stop negative thinking, clear your mind of negative thinking, the path to self-acceptance, cultivating positive thinking, being more positive to reduce stress, overcoming worry, how to stop overthinking, how to control your thoughts and stop spiraling into negativity. So literally every chapter I was thinking this is going to be so useful. And it's also a really interesting book. I gave it nine out of ten. I think there's parts of it where even me as a counsellor, understanding the topic itself, it's a bit how he explains some of the chapters, I was getting lost and I was thinking, oh, it was going a bit too all over the place, but and very uh, difficult to understand. He was using lots of um, approaches and techniques that I've used as a counsellor and heard of. But I think for people who haven't heard of some of these things, it's good. They might get a bit lost as well, because um, I think some of the chapters were just going a bit too deep, um, talking about like the brain stuff and about how um, your mind works and that sort of thing but apart from that it was still a really good book that's why i gave it nine out of ten so in the introduction it kind of gives you an idea of what's going to be there so it says negative thinking is a very common problem that most people have encountered at some point in their lives although positive thinking is widely adv advocated by many health and wellness experts getting yourself out of the rut of negative thoughts can be very challenging even if you are a person who analyzes their thoughts frequently, it can be difficult to tell the difference between negative thinking and the everyday worries and anxieties that we deal with. So that's part of the struggle that I have with clients as well, to try to help them to understand there is everyday stress and everyday worry, which is part of being alive. It's part of you know being human. You're not going to go through life without any stress and any worry. And then there's the sec second bit, which is people who are overthinking and there it goes beyond just worrying about how they're going to pay bills. It goes down to worrying to the point of they can't sleep, worrying to the point where they're catastrophizing and going further into the future, thinking they're going to become homeless. They're going to... So it's tackling that. And I think what's good about this book is it actually gives you techniques of how you can do it. So it gives you ways to stop negative thinking. Actually, first, it gives you things that don't work distractions it says doesn't work drugs and alcohol that doesn't work sleeping it off bargaining with the negative thoughts they're things that don't work and then it gives you ideas of what does work so it tells you um talk through your thoughts with someone spend a minute calming your mind take responsibility for your negative thoughts take a walk do positive as affirmations get creative all of these things actually as I was reading I was thinking <laughs> he must read my mind because all of the things that he puts on in the, the um, strategies are things that I give to clients and without reading this book they're the similar things and I don't I say this to all my clients I don't say to them this is what you have to do I make a suggestion and they might not want to do that but these are all things that he's saying engaging in workout exercises practice deep breathing use sense of humor do you know what I mean it's saying here it often says that laughter is the best medicine and this certainly rings true when it comes to deal with negative thinking it says La laughter, just like fitness exercise, is known to release feel-good hormones, which can help lift your mood. So another um, part of it, most of it is just giving you information about how to deal with the thoughts. There's a chapter on cognitive diffusion. Now, this is this was a bit too complicated, so I'm not going to go into it all. But he talks about the idea that it's a mental process that is commonly associated with acceptance and commitment therapy. Essentially, diffusion is based on the idea that talk, taking our thoughts too literally can lead to mental and psychological problems. 
So he talks about use, um, in the process of cognitive diffusion, you would have the ability to evaluate, evaluate whether a thought is workable and productive, develop an acute ability to view thoughts simply as mental impressions rather than tangible things that exist in reality. It, basically what he's trying to say is you don't take the thought personally and you try to view the thought objectively and then you work with it from there. So there's other chapters on controlling your negative thoughts, stop, um, stopping them from spiralling, just how to stop overthinking. It's basically, some of it is not repetitive, but it's, you can see why it's sort of a thin book because it's, there's a lot, not repetitiveness, but there's only so much you can say about the same thing. And I mean, that's why he has narrowed it down, really. It's a good book um, for, it says on the back, if you want to break free from negative thought patterns, stop worrying and learn to think positive. Here's the right book for you. 18% of the population suffers from anxiety and up to 73% of adults admit that they overthink. What if you could eliminate negative thinking? What if you could stop thinking about problems and start f solving them? So he talks about the book offers a comprehensive toolkit of actionable strategies and techniques that will help you eliminate the deep-seated causes of your anxiety, manage your day-to-day -day worries, stop overthinking and finally have yourself love yourself the way you deserve to be loved. So yeah, it's a good book. You can tell he knows his stuff. Um, it's definitely easy to read and I think, well, parts of it, <laughs> some of it's not so like easy to understand. But I'd say anyone that's been struggling with um, you know, overthinking and negative thoughts, this would be a good book to buy because it's just straight to the point. So I gave it nine out of 10 and I'll be back next week with another book review. There's only four, you know what, it's really strange because I've got loads of books in my Amazon basket and now I've got to choose because I'm only doing these book reviews to the end of the, um, yeah, end of the month. So I've got three more book reviews to go. Um, so I'm just going to have to make a choice about the ones that I feel would be more um, interesting to read. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this um, video if you think other people will benefit from it. Leave your comments. I'd love to hear what you think and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.